South African teenage pilots have made it back home safely in their self-built aircraft after a successful Cape to Cairo flight. The trio received a hero's welcome when they landed at Lanseria Airport in Johannesburg at the weekend. Now, their venture was part of the U-Dream Global Program founded by one of the pilots, Megan Werner. The aim is to promote innovation by young people. Werner joins us now in studio. Thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. So first off, before you tell us about your journey, mm -hmm. how did you come up with this vision? Well, actually, I was supposed to be studying for biology <laughs> in my interior exam. And then um, my mind started drifting because at that age, I've already written a book called It's Up to Me, Seven Ways to Make a Difference. Robert Kiyosaki wrote the foreword of that book. Um, and then it got translated into Russian, became a bestseller. And then I started doing inspirational speaking right around the world, like places in Russia, Kazakhstan, and even America. Yeah. So that was all great, but I wanted to do something bigger. So um, I grew up in a house of aviation. My dad was an airline pilot and my mom an aircraft engineer instructor. So yes, um, basically I grew up in the house of aviation and then I came up, I heard about the sling, uh, sling fall from the airplane factory and yes, I thought about what about 20 teenagers build a plane and fly it across Africa. And you did just that, didn't you? <laughs> now, now tell me about this plane, how you built it, what it looked like, we'll show us, uh, show our viewers in a moment, yes. and about this flight from Cape to Cairo. So basically um, it is a kit built plane, so it's already been designed. But the first day that we got into the hangar, we, there were five boxes on the floor. So we thought, oh, easy, a wing, a wing, and a fuselage, there you got a plane. But when we opened those boxes, the parts were smaller than our hands. <laughs> um, and then we were like, oh, how are we going to do this? So yes, we basically... Um, took the first two days to train these teenagers because they didn't have any aviation experience. We trained these teenagers how to use the tools, how to use the engineer drawings, and then after that they started building the plane. And it took us 10 days till the, the and how did it fly? was complete. Say again? How did it fly? Oh, uh, with its wings? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Smooth just... <laughs> sailing, lots of turbulence, I don't know. <laughs> yes, well, it's, uh, the aircraft performs wonderful. It's got a Rotex 914 engine and a surface ceiling of about uh, 12,000 feet. But yes, it's just an absolutely amazing aircraft. It just flies so well. And um, I'm really proud of the teams that yeah. we've done it. We, we built the plane, we flew it across Africa, and we're safe in South Africa. So I'm really proud of the teams. Now, of course, at uh, Udream Global, this program was aimed to facilitate innovation among young people. Yes. You, of course, managed to do that. What now? Uh, so basically, we are planning to write a book um, between our pilots um, on basically just the, the stuff that we've learned on the trip, life lessons, because, wow, did we learn a lot. We had so many challenges along the trip. It, it was huge challenges that we had to overcome. And a lot of times we were there to inspire the other children. But in the end, we found some of the inspiration for ourselves. So we're going to write a book and then we're also making a documentary. Um, for people to watch and see what we did on the trip. Well done. You guys are an inspirational to, uh, inspiration to many people in South Africa and I'm Thank sure so across much. the world. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. That